weekend is now officially right around the corner, which means you're probably already thinking about what you want to do this weekend. How about a movie? A gorgeous Oscar winner has a very different look in her latest movie, which gets real about parenting. David Daniel has a preview. Writer Diablo Cody and director Jason Reitman re-team with their young adult star Charlize Theron for Tully, a look at exhausted modern motherhood. Hey, frozen pizza, awesome. The role came along at an all too appropriate time for Theron. My second kid was only around seven months old, and so I was just coming out of that place where you're just so sleep deprived. Do you know what a night nanny is? They take care of the baby at night so mom and dad can get some sleep. I don't want a stranger in my house. It's like a Lifetime movie where the nanny tries to kill the family and the mom survives and she has to walk with a cane at the end. But when Tully, played by Mackenzie Davis, shows up, Theron's Marlo gets some much needed help. When it comes to parenting looking anything different than the, this perfect image that we are told it should be, Mm, it's so strange to me that we can't be honest about how difficult that sometimes is. You seem like a great mom. <laughs> great moms organize class parties and casino night. They bake cupcakes that look like minions. All the things I'm just too tired to do. Honestly, even getting dressed just feels exhausting. I open my closet and I just think, didn't I just do this? In Tully, Marlo finds not just a nanny, but a friend. I think there's something very unifying and just not feeling like you're going through something alone. You're empty. Yeah. No, you're empty on this side. <sighs> In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. It actually looks pretty good. Too bad it's it on a weekend with some nice weather. I've right? read some good things about it. So. Yeah, I'm curious yeah. to see where it kind of goes and takes off to. Yeah. yeah. All Should right, well, not in the mood for a good movie. Our associate producer, Kayla Dorhout, is here to tell us more about some events you may want to add to your calendar this weekend. I'm back, yep. <laughs> She's back. Did you get a, <laughs> it's a Friday tradition. Yet, yeah, Kayla? I haven't. I can't All eat right. one on screen because right. then I'll have just Oreos. We'll, black we'll, get, we'll get you a cookie before the end of the show. <laughs> All right. Well, I do have a few events to tell you about if you're still looking for something to do this weekend. Here's one for the whole family. It's time for the big event. The Girl Scouts are hosting a one of a kind event with interactive sessions, booths, and tons of fun. The event is open. Open to the public, and you can bring the whole family. I saw Girl Scout cookies in the break room downstairs. Did you really? I did. We have Oreo cookies. Well, we we're going to add Scout Oreos cookies. to it later yeah, on. And so. they had glu the gluten free ones there. <laughs> we don't eat very healthy here. I've noticed. What that. workplace does? <laughs> we're getting ready for our summer bodies. Yeah. I, yeah, hardly. <laughs> uh, spring means it's rummage sale season. Abiding Savior Academy is hosting a rummage sale on Saturday, which will include all children's items. There will be clothes from infants to 14 years old, children's toys, games, books. And more. There's also a bake sale, so you can enjoy a tasty treat. Oh, I remember doing bake, bake sales bake growing up. <laughs> Who doesn't love bake sales They're either? So They're fun. The I, I always Again, brought puppy another, chow. Another reason to eat bad, right? Yeah. Puppy chow was always <laughs> the biggest hit. So if you're doing a bake sale ever for your kid, puppy chow. I'm going to look for some healthy segments <laughs> next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, you have plenty of choices for Cinco de Mayo celebrations this weekend. Here's just one has tasty food and drinks that you can take advantage of. It's Cinco de Mayo at the Attic Bar and Grill. There will be food, drinks, and specials all day long. And I've been there before to eat, and their food is fantastic. So, Cinco de Mayo. It is good. I've been, I was there uh, last week. Uh, yeah. Now, were you really? Yeah, I was there last weekend. <laughs> that's good. So. That's, that's yeah. a fun place. I do like their place. Yeah. Well, who doesn't love the 90s? Well, tonight you can throw back to your favorite 90s hits at Icon Event Hall and Lounge. The event starts at 7 p.m. and you can sing along to 90s covers all night long. The 90s <laughs> are the best year. I think that was from the 80s. That's from a little bit earlier, but you know, <laughs> the 80s are more my decade, I guess. But, well, I know we just escaped the cold, but you can still take your fun to the ice. The Sioux Falls Figure Skating Club is hosting Lion King on the ice this weekend. Join them for two spectacular shows. Skaters from age Five through adult will bring this show to life on the ice. Fun. How cute little five year old skaters. Yeah. It is a really neat event. I've been to a few of those and, and uh, it's fun to see the little kids and and uh, and, and do it on ice. I mean, yeah. it's just it's just fun. So. Not easy. Not right, easy. Right. No. Don't forget, it's the Big Brothers Big Sisters of Sioux Empire's Kentucky Derby Gala. It's Saturday and starts at 3.30. Enjoy festive race day attire along with mint juleps and silent options. Also, don't forget your hat. Of course. I got to wear one when they were on the show. You got to wear a fun hat. 
it was it was really cool. Yeah, Mint juleps at three or four in the afternoon, and then that's pretty much it for the day. Then, yeah, right? then you're done. Yeah, you're done. So. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> well, the Star Wars fun doesn't have to stop today. Revenge of the Fifth Breakfast and Play Day is taking place Saturday at the Washington Pavilion. Channel your inner force for the Star Wars themed event. Admission includes breakfast with Star Wars themed treats. You'll be able to meet members of the 501st Legion and do Star Wars themed hands on activities. Look at some of those Yoda donuts. <laughs> Yoda. I don't know if Bantha Blue, I feel like my director would know what this stands Bantha for. Bantha Blue but Milk and Hands some, On It, yeah. So sounds Yoda really donuts. fun. Hmm. Yoda. Yoda. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's the sixth annual Country Junkin' Vintage Market at the Central States Fair in Rapid City. Enjoy two days of shopping the best vintage and handmade items in the area. They'll also have chips and salsa to help celebrate Cinco de Mayo weekend. Because <laughs> that's in chips and salsa, and it's a Cinco de Mayo event. I right? love <laughs> chips and salsa are my weakness. Like, once you start, you can't stop, so you just shouldn't start. I totally agree. Completely. I agree. <laughs> if you're out in Deadwood this weekend, you can join in on the Cinco de Mayo community party. The event is Saturday from 1 to 4 p.m. The day is full of free food and fun. Enjoy games, bounce houses, food, and more. Free food and free drinks. I was, I, I mean, like just pop and soda, I'm guessing, but what, what a great yeah. event. Yeah, it's free. Right. So fun. Yeah. Don't forget, Sioux Falls is busy this weekend. Howardwood Relays is going yep. on out yep. at uh, the stadium, so there's going to be a ton, a ton of people in town. And well, mm -hmm. how lucky they are for a, uh, a great weekend of weather. Yeah, I mean, beautiful. that event is. Typically, I shouldn't say typically, but I can remember more crappy weekends for that event than nice ones. Right. But yeah, uh, but yeah it's going to be fun. It'll be a fun Should weekend. Be a lot of records. So much stuff them. going yeah, on, and those are just stuff. a few. I mean, we got 5Ks, tons of stuff. So if you go to something this weekend, post your pictures to our Kettle and Lemon Facebook page. We'd love to see them. Nice. Definitely. Well, thank you so much, Kel, for joining us. Yeah. Thank you.